What's up, guys? Neil, if you're taking a look at the Stochastic NFL DFS lineup generator for the Week 14 main slate, looking at lineups on FanDuel in this video. While you're coming in, please like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already done so, and hit that notification button so you can get alerts when our shows go live. If you're new to the lineup generator, haven't already signed up, the link is in the description of this video. It's only $14.95 per week. That includes DraftKings, FanDuel, main slates, every primetime show on the slate, all is included in the lineup generator for just $14.95 per week. And you only get lineups that are positive EV according to the Stochastic Sims. So these have been run through the Stochastic Sims and in those Sims, tens of thousands of Sims, these are lineups that have come out profitable over the long run. So fantastic lineups, fantastic tool for just $14.95 per week. Check it out. I'm going to take a look at the FanDuel main slate here. And I'm going to do all stack types. We'll get a mix of one man's, two man's. Some will have a run back, some won't. We're also going to do all lineup types. We're going to get chalky, balance, and contrarian lineups here. First lineup we get to is a Patrick Mahomes triple stack. That's interesting. And then we have James Cook on the bring So we've got Mahomes with Rasheed Rice, Travis Kelsey, and also Clyde Edwards Elair. We've got James Cook as the run back from the Bills. We've also got Javante Williams in this one, Brandon Ayuk, Calvin Ridley, and then the Raiders defense. So this one is on the chalky end of the spectrum. It's obviously going to project pretty well. Every lineup you get here is going to project pretty well. This one projecting for just under 113 fantasy points, 116% total ownership, full-on game stack with the Chiefs uh, and the Bills here. Really interesting lineup to start here with the triple stack. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Now we get a Justin Herbert paired with Keenan Allen in this one. We do not have a Broncos run back, so it's just a single stack, no run back. Pretty, pretty simple lineup here. Then we got uh, Bijan Robinson and Zach Charbonnet as the running backs. Keep an eye on the Seahawks situation because we're not sure at this point if Charbonnet is playing, Kenneth Walker is playing. It's possible they're both playing. We, we have no idea what's going on as of yet. Both are game time decisions. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one. But as of now, we got Zach Charbonnet in this one, Amon Ross St. Brown, Rasheed Rice once again, Clyde Rizalair once again, and then David Njoku as the tight end in this one along with the Ravens defense. So two pretty different stacks to start here. One full-on game stack, one just a single stack with no run back. Let's see what pops up next. Now we've got Russell Wilson with Javante Williams and Jerry Judy. We have Jalen Guyton as the run back from the Chargers. So we've got a full game stack here, Broncos Chargers. We then have McCaffrey as one of the running backs. Uh, Adam Thielen as another wide receiver. We have uh, Travis Kelsey in the tight end spot. So a lot of repeating players here on our first few lineups and Zach Charbonnet in the flex. So yeah, a lot of, lot of repeating players despite having pretty different lineups for the first three Vikings defense in this one. You can see this one right in the middle in terms of chalkiness versus contrarian. Uh, projects pretty well. This one projecting for just under 111 fantasy points and 94% ownership. Let's try to find one more. One more different stack. Now we got another Herbert double stack. All right, Jake Browning. So we've got Jake Browning here with Tyler Boyd, Josh Downs on the run back. So now we've got a single stack with a run back. We've also got two 49ers in this one, both Christian McCaffrey and Brandon Ayuk. We've got Bijan Robinson as the second running back. Uh, we've got Juwan Johnson at tight end. And oh, I didn't even notice this. So we've got uh, actually a double stack of sorts if you want to include the running back as part of the stack. Joe Mixon in there for the Bengals as well. So another full-on game stack. Browning with two other with two other Bengals and then uh, Josh Downs as the run back. And this one has the Texans defense. All right, now I'm just going to go through, save all the lineups it gives me. We'll take a look at our exposures at the end. Looks like we're getting 40 again. All right, we got to 42% Brandon Ayuk, 40% each of Kelsey and Charbonnet. Got 38% Javante Williams, and then we're pretty spread out, all the way down to 30% Mixon, 28% each Rasheed Rice, Christian McCaffrey, and then a, a lot of different players in some lineups here or there. Uh, but across 40 lineups, we don't have we've got a pretty uh, pretty widespread of players. Nobody getting too crazy high ownership. 42% Ayuk, 40% Kelsey and Charbonnet. Those are our highest, but really that's that's not too much out of 40 lineups. We're not getting anybody into like 90% of it like we had last week uh, with, with Zach Moss making it into everyone's lineups. Doesn't look like we're getting that this week. We're getting a nice mix of players across our lineups, mitigating our risk a little bit by spreading out our player exposures. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hit the like button if you haven't already done so. Check it out. Uh, use the link in the description if you want to check out the lineup generator. Thanks for watching and good luck this week.